Shalom. Have you ever made any mistakes? I know I have made plenty of mistakes. And you know, we all wish sometimes that we could start all over again. Imagine how wonderful that would be if we knew that we could have a fresh start. Imagine there was some sort of button that we could push, some sort of delete button, wherein all of our mistakes would just disappear as if they never were. What would be even better would be if there would be some sort of promise or guarantee that that could really happen. That we could start all over again and this time get it right. Because we know that we have it in us to be much better people, much more like the people that we want to be. But something is always holding us back. Actually, there is a guarantee. This is exactly what God tells us. This is exactly what the Torah states in Leviticus chapter 16 and verse 30, where we read regarding Yom Kippur, the awesome Day of Atonement. The Torah tells us, for on this day he shall provide atonement for you to cleanse you. From all of your sins before Hashem you shall be cleansed. That's exactly what Yom Kippur is. It's the delete button. It's a totally new start. It's a new beginning, not only for Israel, but for everyone in the world. Yom Kippur is a great light of love and forgiveness that sweeps the world. But we have to avail ourselves of it. We have to have consciousness, the presence of mind, to actually be there. And that day comes, and if it is accompanied by a sincere thought and word of repentance, just one word that's really expressed and said with all our heart, then that day washes over us with its light and that verse is fulfilled and God promises us that our sins are forgiven. But it's such a difficult word, sin, and it conjures up such preconceived notions. What is sin anyway? Our sages define sin as missing the mark, as not living up to our own potential, as a state of temporary insanity where somehow we became clouded and disconnected from our source from the presence of God in our lives because we did not believe in ourselves enough. We did not believe that we could do it. We did not have the self-confidence to realize God in our lives. And so repentance is not about guilt or rejection of who I am and who I've been, but rather it's about return and it's about an affirmation of who I really am and who I know I can be and who I want to be from now on. So Yom Kippur comes and first we have to forgive each other and we have to forgive ourselves before we can expect our Father in Heaven to forgive us. And our sages teach us that as we judge others, so are we judged. So may we merit on this Yom Kippur to be totally renewed and to open our hearts to ourselves, to each other, to our full potential, all of us as human beings created in God's image, I may this Yom Kippur bring in the blessings of the new year for you and your family only sweetness and goodness, and may you be written and sealed in the Book of Life.